It was so nice working with you. We got to work together uh, during the Super Bowl. Yes. A couple days beforehand when we did a segment with Tom Brady and uh, some of the other players. And it was really fun. You were very funny. It was nice hanging out with you. Aww. And I thought, we've got to get you on the show. I had such a good time with you. And then, of course, Tom Brady had to show up, which was such a bummer. Because then the focus went to him. And I was like, hello, over here. Um, too bad the game stopped. I know. Huh? I can't believe I made out with him for 10 minutes. Uh... That was so weird. <laughs> um, but he showed up. And it, the angels started singing. I was looking for Giselle. She wasn't there. And right, then right. It, the interview was awesome. It was so yeah, great, literally. right? Really good time. Yeah. But thank you for helping us out with oh, that. Oh, stop. Of course. I was just too bad you uh, didn't get away with stealing the jersey, right? That was your idea. You know, I want to ask you about plot. that. Because, yeah, it was my plot. Uh, <laughs> I, I was curious about this. Tell us what you know, because it seems like a strange story. The story came out that someone took Tom Brady's jersey yeah. uh, immediately well, in the locker room right after the big game. And I was thinking to myself, how is that even possible? Have you seen the video? It's out. Which is, have you watched any of this video? I haven't seen the video, video but yeah. it's like a I'm sports reporter, yeah. right? Apparently so. I mean, everything's alleged. Like, yeah, I don't yeah. think at this point there's been an arrest. But so Fox has cameras all over the stadium, um, everywhere you can look. And they've actually put video out where you can see him go in the locker room. He follows Bill Belichick. He goes in kind of with that posse and then comes out with it under his arm, you know, allegedly. It's it's insane because I know my fiance tried to go and work the Super Bowl, hold the light that was going, you know, I, I talk into the camera and hold the light for me. And he had to basically give up his whole story, his whole life story. How is this possible right. that someone could walk into the Patriots locker room and steal that jersey? It makes me think that I should be stealing things left and right from the NFL. <laughs> it feels like they're not really paying attention and we should all just be wandering in right. there after a game. I just want a baseball hat. That's all I want. You can't get one. I mean, with the logo on it and everything. Yeah, what? very difficult. What do you mean you can't get a baseball Hat. Well, no, a baseball it, hat with the NFL logo, like that. The they sent me a are... whole basket of them. <laughs> annoying, annoying. That's true. I'll give yeah. you one, except mine are like a triple XL. I have a. Andy and I have the largest heads in television. Thank what you size? very much. Yeah. I wear a size eight. I wear a size yeah. eight. Yeah. I know a baseball player back in the day. He wore a size eight. His yeah, name yeah. was Kevin Mensch. Yes. And yeah, he had a huge noggin. What yeah. size do you have? Is I don't even personal? know. There's no size for me. Okay. <laughs> I, uh, they don't. They have nothing. They just have to construct a whole hat. But because I'm a Patriots fan, they sent me a basket. I'll give you one of mine, and we Perfect. can we can take it oh. in.